Dennis Drogman from NBA. Yeah. Oh, Welcome right. to Maxwell Food Center. <laughs> Man, are you meeting with Kim Jong Un? But this meeting would have happened without you. Were you part of it? I think that I brought yeah. awareness to a lot of things around the world. That's okay. Yeah. And I think North Korea has uh, gave a lot of people opportunity to do this conference now. And I hope it's a success. Doors are opening. All right. So back again. Well, you know who knew who knew this was going to happen five six years ago. Hi, Ms. Sanders. It's a pleasure to be speaking you, with you this morning. It's got to be on um, correct. I'm, I'm here. Uh, I just want to say you're doing a great job. And um, I have Dennis with, I have Dennis here with us right now. Kiss it ass. Okay, great. Thank you. Yep. Hello. Hi, Dennis. This is Sarah Sanders. How are you? What's going on? Well, uh, I just was calling. Uh, I know the, the president had seen uh, some of your comments over the last several days and just wanted me to, to reach out and, and thank you for some of the positive things you've said and uh, uh, appreciate you uh, being helpful in this process. Well, thank you very much. It's, uh, you know, it was my intention in the beginning of this whole situation as far as like being, uh, being connected with North Korea. But uh, it seemed like it turned out to be a, a very, very uh, important event today. So I feel like that I had to be a part of it. Thank you. I, I know he appreciates it. And, and again, we appreciate your support, you being here uh, and being so vocal about it. So I just wanted to call and pass that on. Okay. Uh, when, when, you, when you see Donald next time, can Donald say hi to me and say, Dennis, I would love to shake your hand? <laughs> <laughs> All right, honey. Thank you very much for having me here. Thank, Thank you. Me. Have a great day. Well, the secretary, what's the secretary of press or whatever that was? I don't know. She said something <laughs> nice, huh? Sarah Sanders. Yeah, it's not a bad way to start the day, is it? The press is loving that the fact that you give them credit. Oh, really? <laughs> give me some fucking credit. Dennis Drogman from NBA. Yeah. Welcome right. to Maxwell Food Center. Right. <laughs> we became friends like right away. We really just like that. We just, you and Kim Jong-un? We just clicked, you know, we were singing, we, we, we were singing karaoke one night and we just thought, <laughs> we just had a blast with each other. Like, I, I, like I, I've been knowing this guy for all my life, seems like. <laughs> like, what was your impression of him? Was he a fun guy? Was he a, he was a fun guy, weird man. guy? We, like, we was, what? We had a couple of drinks together, and uh, it was just having a blast. Like it's like going to a karaoke bar. Does he drink a lot? Nah. What kind of stuff do you talk about with him? Just life, just life, sports, coming to America, going to a game. If Trump wants to take the credit for it, all this uh, possibility that's going to happen for the world, take it. Just said, not as the fact that you know somebody had to open someone's eyes to see what really, what really go on in the world. So I was that guy to open eyes and uh, and they follow through with it as far as like uh, giving people the, the knowledge that we can maybe, maybe work together. You say you don't want to take credit for what's going on, but I mean, you are here in Singapore, so clearly a little <laughs> bit of you wants to take some credit for that. Those uh, two individuals that did that today, that's between those guys. I and mean, you know, we just need to support it. If we don't support it, I think we have uh, another battle we have to fight now. Why didn't President Obama listen to you? Why didn't the previous administration listen to you when you came back from this? No clue. He just wouldn't listen to me at all. I mean, he was just so, you know, trying to be the first black president ever, and da 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 da, and some shit like that. Thought he was like, you know, the King Creole, the master fucking show. You know, he wouldn't listen to me. I begged him to talk to me. And I said, I just want to talk to you. Bring me to the White House. Let's talk. Sit down and talk. He won't give me time of day, which it doesn't matter. Trump is Trump. Trump is Trump. If you heard that he won the Nobel Peace Prize, I would Prize, be shocked. To you'll my be call. shocked like a motherfucker. You'll be shocked as hell, right? You'll be shocked. And don't be surprised if I win that fucker too, just because of that. Just because of that sit down. Do you think you deserve an award for your involvement? Yeah, in I do. 
Yes, I do. <laughs> the Nobel Peace Prize. You think you I'm deserve the, the Nobel Peace Prize? Oh yeah, come on, man. It's just growing. It's getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, I deserve that. Give me that. So I'll take that. Are you talking to the camera because you think if you put the put it out there into oh, the universe yeah. that it's oh, going to yeah. come back to you? Oh yeah, it's going to come back to me, right? Yeah, Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs>